So now that the instrument's set up, I'm actually set up over what's called a deck station. So that means I have a, a fine high order point that I'm plumb over. And this point specifically has what's called quadrants. So there's one, two, three, and four quadrants that I have known azimuths to. So, the first step is getting the things I need. So I'm gonna need some scrap piece of paper or something like that to write on. And I need the actual trig list for the point that I'm over. So trig list is the position data and direction data for a specific point. So right here, I have the Fort Sill trig list. And looking at the data, I have a bunch of PC points. So I can look at the stamping on the point of plumb over. And this is PC-22. So I find PC-22 in here, and you'll see I have the point name, the position and easting northing for the point, the latitude and longitude, the elevation, all that good information for this point specifically. And then down here I see quad one, grid azimuth, quad two, grid azimuth, three and four. All right, so that's what I'm gonna be using to actually declinate this. So I'm gonna keep that handy somewhere I can see it. And now I can actually begin the declination process. So this is essentially going to be, I'm going to go upper known azimuth, lower sight in on known azimuth, upper turn to north, and record. And record. And I'm going to rinse and repeat that until I have at least two readings that are within two mils of each other. So once I get those two readings, I can add them together and average them basically. So if I have three, I add them together, divide by three. If I have two, I add them together, divide by two. But I need at least two readings. So my first azimuth, I might as well go in order. I have quad one. So my azimuth, the quad one, is going to be 1363.8. So what I can do since the uh, elevation or the uh, azimuth scales on the aiming circle only accept 0 0.0 or 0.5, I can round that up. So it's gonna be 1364.0. So using my upper motion, this is my upper, and these are my lower. Using my upper motion, I'm gonna go 1,3, Six four point zero. So that's what my scales physically read. Now with my lower motion, I'm gonna open these wings. And the same thing here, I can depress these and do my broad movements, or I can lock it in place and spin them. And those are my fine adjustments. I can do the same thing with my upper. So I'm gonna actually physically side in on quad one. dead center of wherever I'm supposed to aim at on that quad marker. All right, and once I'm sighted in, I enclose my lower motion. Now with my upper, I'm going to unlock my needle, float north, and once the needle settles dead center, then I can record what my scale rating is at that point. So I know north is roughly that way, so I can depress the upper, turn it to about zero, and I will unlock the needle. And looking down through this viewing window, I can tell what direction I need to turn it to get it finally tuned to north. So my needle, as I'm looking at it, is floating to the left. So that means I need to turn the instrument right. So using my fine adjustment, I'll turn it right until it's about dead center as through the viewing window. Once that's good, I can look through the magnifier. And what I'm doing is I'm getting that crosshair inside the magnifier to line up directly center of that white line on the magnetic needle. So 
So once I'm there, I can lock my compass. And I'm simply going to read and record my scales. So I'll say something like quad one, zero, zero, seven, six, point zero. So that's my first reading. I'll put that in my pocket. Now I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna do the same thing with quad two, three, and four. So like I said earlier, I need at least two of these measurements to be within a two mil tolerance of each other. So now I need my known azimuth two quad two. That's gonna be 3248.6. So we can call that 3248.5. So I'll go three, two with my upper motion. Three, two, four, eight, point five. So my upper scales read three, two, four, eight, point five. Now with my lower motion, I'm going to physically side in on quad two. Once I'm sided in, I can close my lower. You'll notice the second or third and fourth times that when you turn to that known azimuth and look through the scope, that you're almost dead center on where you're supposed to aim at. Just make the fine adjustments and get as close to center as possible. So I'm sided in with my lower motion. Now with my upper, I'm gonna turn north once again, unlock that needle and record. All right, once it's floated north, I can lock the compass. I'm gonna read and record once again. So for quad two, I have seven, six, or my, my bad, I have zero, zero, seven, six, point zero. So by just doing two quad markers, I got the exact same reading. So what that means is I have two, two readings within a two mil tolerance, and I can take these, average them together, and that's what's gonna be called my deck constant. That's what declination is for, is so I can find my deck constant, and then within about a 20 kilometer range, as long as it's within the next 30 days and it meets a bunch of different guidelines, I can use my deck constant to perform what's called mag checks. So I can use the deck constant to basically establish a grid azimuth anywhere on the training field, right? So I do the math on these two. I average them together. Right, the deck station, my name, the date, and what my deck constant was. So it was zero, zero, 76.0. And I typically write that on a piece of duct tape, something of that nature, and that goes right on the notation pad. So the next person that uses this should probably be yourself, but so at least they know what the deck constant was on this if they have to use it. Uh, so let's say I'm going through the points and uh, my first, my quad one and my quad two reading are not within tolerance. But then I get to quad three and it's within tolerance of my quad one reading. And what I do is I just put a line through quad two's reading and I would uh, average quad one and quad three's reading together. It's that easy. And that's it as far as performing a declination. All right.